You're right, guys, it's Capcom Tom here, and welcome to episode number two of Path to Paris. Now, if you missed episode number one, I recommend you go back and watch it because it explains the entire premise of the series and you'll be completely up to date with what's going on. Basically, we are trying to build the best PSG team possible on Ultimate Team by playing and trading our way there. Now, you can see that we've got some stuff in our trade pile, managing to sell the stuff that we got in our season ticket pat on for some profit. And also, I've gone away and made the changes that you all spotted were wrong on the actual master list so you can see that I have added Duches and Siragu to the list because I managed to miss off the goalkeepers somehow which was a bit of a mistake but they're now added on and we will try obviously and pick them up as well so another thing that you wanted me to do was go and change the kit numbers on the players that we signed so first off Rabiot who is number 25 for PSG Maurice I actually had a little bit of an issue finding the kit number four um, he wasn't on the official PSG site so if you know his actual number and I've got it wrong I put it as 33 because that's what I saw on one of the kits he was wearing for PSG then please put it down in the comments section and I will make the changes in the next couple of episodes so we're going to dive into our first game and we're coming up against a full range of squad not that impressive looking however he does have Templeton at left mid who is a very quick player and a very strong one as well however we seem to find a way to score now um, it's a little bit overpowered on this game and you guys probably have seen it in other people's videos as well but heading is just so dirty on this game it is ridiculous you saw the first goal and then a carbon copy two minutes later both from Maurice managed to head us two goals clear in the first 12 minutes of the game and I was pretty happy with that to be honest because our record at the moment is one and two so one one lost two so we are trying to win some games so we will do whatever it takes at the moment to make sure that we get some results get some coins in our pocket so that we can improve our team and then maybe we can try and play a little bit more silkily and skillfully I guess now uh, he managed to equalize it was 2-2 and I had a bit of luck because he was on the charge at this point but he had one of his strikers sent off when he slides through the back of one of my players who didn't have the ball which was just stupidity on his part so that sort of deadened his attack we went in at the end of the game at 2-2 we are playing online single matches and what you have to know is that you can't draw a single match anymore so we went into it and we were playing uh, the extra time ready to go on to penalties but unfortunately he disconnected I believe it wasn't me because I came straight back to the ultimate team menu so uh, we didn't get a win for it we didn't get a loss we didn't get a draw we got nothing so I don't really know what happened there we did get the coins for it we lost contracts and everything but I guess we'll count it as something of a win I think I could have come in through and won that game but anyway we are going to move on with the episode and we are going to make our first signing the first of three signings in this episode I three signings absolute madness but you can see the first one is going to be camera the uh, silver center back he has 60 pace 73 defending and 77 heading quite looking forward to using him I think that PSG has a very good selection of centre backs. I mean, we've got Thiago Silva, Alex, who's got over 90 strength, and also Marquinhos, who is the non rare gold Brazilian centre back. So I'm quite excited to use all of those players. But you can see for now, Camera is going into the team, gets that strong link with Rabiot, very strong link because they're both nationality and club links. Going to go and change um, Camera's number as well to six. And uh, there you go. He is now going to be checked off the master checklist. We are moving closer towards the full PSG team obviously we've got a fucking long way to go but we will eventually make it so we're going to go find ourselves another game and we actually find someone that's roughly the same sort of level as us he has a 37 chem team to star uh, you know overall he has some gold players he has a silver player he has bronze players but he's not getting much chemistry in there so I was pretty confident that we could do some damage and maybe walk away from with the win but at half time it was nil nil I was slightly shading it but he was having more possession but as we came out after half time the cross the overpowered cross goes to the back post and there's Clark Harris he's actually a very quick English striker I'd recommend you try him out he's like a He's like a tank, really is very, very strong, very quick as well. So one that I'd recommend. We managed to make it 2-0. Maurice climbing well there in the 66th minute to make it 2-0. And uh, yeah, pretty good performance so far from the team. However, he manages to come back. And a couple of seconds after I managed to score, he managed to score his own header. It's just a, it's just a game of uh, headers, really, this game. So at the moment, it does just seem that way. But we're hoping we will pick up some more 
more interesting goals, I guess, before the end of the series. And anyway, you can see there we do win 2-1, take down 500 coins. And we're going to go and make a signing, and it's going to be Duches, the goalkeeper. Now, obviously, added into the list at the start of the episode. Going to pick him up for 350 coins on a bid. I think I could have binned him for 350 coins, but that was the first one I saw. And I was like, you know what? We really do need a goalkeeper. And if I use him, he's going to get links to our other players in the team I mean he's going to get a link to camera and uh, obviously he is going to be on full chemistry as is camera so that's really good he gets the check mark against his name he is in the right kit already his number is number one although I believe that Sirigu is PSG's first choice keeper in fact I know he is and um, yeah so Duches does have the number one and that's what he's going to do it's going to mimic real life I guess so here we go we are going into our next game and it's against a guy using well he's only got 54 chemistry this time a little bit better um, but you know our chemistry isn't to be honest all that good I don't think it's more than like 60 so um, these are the sort of teams that we should be matched up against and it's only fair that we play someone sort of on the same level I don't want to be playing gold teams with that team because as you know I'll get absolutely pounded now he went 1-0 down but we managed to get lucky when we got through with Maurice tried to cross it across the face of goal but his goalkeeper or one of his players just managed to get in the way and uh, it went into the back of the net counted as his goal so I was pretty happy then we made it 2-1 a couple of seconds later when we managed to do all kinds of heading magic and uh, give ourselves the lead so that was pretty nice from Ulm there one of our reserve centre mids I believe and as you can see at half time I was all over him six shots six on target to his one and one so it was kind of annoying when he came out and managed to score from a free kick it was Pintos in the 53rd that managed to convert that uh, free kick kind of frustrating but what can you do in that situation so the game ended 2-2 we are going to have to go to extra time as I said you don't have the choice of ending as a draw anymore you just have to go to extra time and penalties so here we go we're in extra time and what I want you to look at is our centre back here Garrett watch this run he is going to make it is absolutely ridiculous he steams ahead through his defence and I threw it over the top to him thinking there's no way that he'll get on the end of it and he did and better still we managed to finish it in great fashion well played Garrett that is absolutely phenomenal for a bronze centre back to be doing that but it is the game winning goal so well played to him I would have given him man of the match just for that because that was pretty special and uh, we do take down a 3-2 win in that game so that's fantastic we take down 600 coins odd and we are going to go and make a signing and that signing is going to be Bodmer now I know Bodmer is actually transferred clubs which some of you may have an issue with but we have done this in the past where we've had players that have you know not played for the right club for example Felipe Santari didn't play for Borussia Dortmund towards the end of the series but we still used him anyway because he was fantastic now Bodmer I have to say isn't in my long-term plans once we get like the better players he won't be coming into the team at all so those looking for authenticity in this uh, series don't worry too much you know he's not going to be a permanent fixture but for now we are going to use him because he's cheap and he plays in the right position so we don't have to use any four or position modifiers on him obviously that gives a little bit of an issue when it comes to putting the right kit number on him but I think I'm using the kit number from the club that he's, he's playing for at the moment so 24 um, but you know if you guys want to try and find out what the PSG number was for him I'll happily put that on him in the next couple of episodes so there you go he gets the check mark and we are moving ever closer to the more exciting players in this team like Ibrahimovic, Cavani and Thiago Silva all of that lot as well as Lovetti, I can't wait to get my hands on Lovetti and even Lucas as well. I think those two are going to be an absolute handful when we finally get them. So our final game is going to be against a 4-3, a 1-2. Well, it looks like an English team. He's on the way. He's building it up. He's got one star, which means he's got no golds or anything on the bench. So I was pretty confident that we could do some damage to him, although he has got more chemistry. Um, but the amount of damage, I didn't think that I'd be able to do this much, to be honest. Um, we got lucky early on. There was all kinds of stuff going on in the box there. Clark Harrison man eventually managing to nod that one into the back of the net thankfully which gave us a 1-0 lead and we almost got a bicycle kick as well but then Bodmer streams through and manages to get his debut goal in the 24th minute really nice goal for him actually and a very good run as well his defence just did not track him whatsoever so a pretty easy goal for him to start off his career for our team now he managed to get another goal this one again lucky defender tries to tackle him the ball bobbles out from him and there's Clark Harris to turn and put that one into the back of the net we then make it 4-0 Maurice this time getting the shot off to begin with ball comes off the keeper and there he is he is in the right place at the right time to put it into the back of the net and he does the circus um, 
type of celebration as well, which is pretty cool to look at as one of the players does dive through the imaginary hoop. Bodmer managed to get a brace on his debut, so it's good to see that he's scoring. Maybe we'll score a lot of goals from that corner. And uh, yeah, there you go. That is the end of the episode, guys. So I hope you have enjoyed it. Obviously, if you could drop it a like, that'd be amazing. We hit over a thousand likes last episode. I'll tell you what, if you get another thousand likes on this video today, I will upload another path to Paris tomorrow. It's definitely worth hitting that like button, so please do subscribe if you're not already so you can keep up to date with the series. But other than that, I'm going to have to leave it there, and I will see you all next time.